You make a mean crow's nest, girl. Well done. Now, I'm to tell you what happened to the Sassenach, am I? I'm sorry, happened to the what? The Sassenach. The Englishman. The one Kyler was supposed to be marrying. Well, what happened to him is this. The she took him. The good people whisked him straight off to their world, they did. By the good people, you mean fairies? You'll not be hearing me call him that. All of us have a name we prefer, and with them, the good people it is. So that's what I call them, and you'd be wise to do the same. Just what are these good people going to do with him? Whatever they please. He's in their world now, and he'll not be coming back. That's as much of the truth as we'll ever know. Tis not the first time the good people have seen fit to meddle in the affairs of Castle Malloy. Cause the explosion they did. The one that destroyed half the castle? Brendan, his wife, Caitlin, used to own this place, she did. Aye, and their little girl, Fiona. All three were lost to the world forever when the place blew. But the blame lay not with Malloy. It was the good people. They'd taken a shine to Fiona, is why. And they knew that little girls, no matter how much they're adored by we folk or mortals, sooner or later, all little girls grow up and grow old. The good people couldn't bear to see this happen to their beloved Fiona, so they made full sure it never did. Sounds to me like the good people are actually just the opposite. They have their ways, and we have ours, is all. That's just the way of things. Got plans for you, they do. The fairies? Uh, the good people? What makes you say that? I meant to pocket your car keys for safe keeping on my way over here. But I couldn't find them. You mean my keys weren't in the car? Aye, that's exactly my meaning. Taken they were. The good people want you to be staying. The name of this place, just what exactly is a banshee? A woman, one of the good people, as alive as you and me, with wild hair almost as long as the tattered grey robe billowing up around her whenever she appears. Sometimes she takes on the form of a hooded crow, but it's the sound she makes, her terrible wailing, that strikes fear in the human heart. Because when a mortal hears the wail of a banshee, it means someone is about to die. I saw someone with long hair and a gray robe outside the castle tonight. Did you know? She... it ran across the road in front of me. That's why my car's in the ditch. Not till I was fifty and four did I see a banshee. To see one at your age, on your very first night in Ireland. A <laughs> special lass you are indeed. Do banshees ever leave things behind, like, say, little dolls? Do not be mistaken banshees for Santa Claus now. A warning is all they leave behind about something that's coming and can't be stopped. Do you dislike all Englishmen as much as you dislike Matt Simmons? Or is he special somehow? I've little use for any Sassenach. But I took a dislike into this one soon as I laid eyes on him. Arrogant he was. Cocky. Disrespectful. Foolish. Always touching things he shouldn't. Go in places he didn't belong. Worse than a stray dog, that one was. What about his friend Kit? Aye. He may talk like a Yank and live like a Brit, but there's Irish in the lad. I saw it right off. Little wonder he's in love with the girl. They'll make a fine pair. Well, wait a minute. Kit's not in love with Kyler. Blind, are you now? Loves her, he does indeed. He's all but wearing a sign saying so. He came to the wedding early, to make sure there'd never be a wedding. Only the good people saw to that for him. Ah, the luck of the Irish. Guess I'll go now. Fine with me.